Tawa nyirwe nyasha Tawa nyirwe nyasha Tawa nyirwe nyasha This harmonious shona chorus Tawani Renyasha is what broke out when the shipment containing uniforms that these female footballers from Chimani Mani in Zimbabwe are wearing. To them it was an unmerited favor that came from thousands of miles away from a young girl called Makanaka Chikowero. Born 15 years ago in Zimbabwe, Maka and her family moved to the United States of America when she was two years old. From her early days, Maka was a multi-sport athlete. She begged medals and trophies, but it was not enough for her. She wanted to give disadvantaged girls in her home country the same platform and compete in sports. Empowering the girls through education and providing psychosocial support for them was also her priority. I'm originally from Zimbabwe. We moved here when I was very little. And from a young age, I played soccer and I always swam. And then well, I'd always hear stories about girls in Zimbabwe who could not play sports because that was not the norm. And it upset me because I thought, well, if I can play sports here and they can't there, like, what can I do to change it? So I did, the, I, I did what I could to help these girls change the norms and break out of the stereotypes that were set for them already. Um, I have an organization named MTC Educate a Girl Inc. It helps orphan girls go back to school as well as pick up a sport so they can exceed in life and not be held back and giving them opportunities that they may not have had when they weren't going to school. Before she birthed the charity organization, Maka had already started a philanthropic journey. She donated uniforms for the football team at Magaya Secondary School in Murewa. We've uh, recently gathered um, some school supplies, soccer equipment, as well as sports bras and sent them to the girls in Zimbabwe. They should be receiving them soon. But due to uh, the coronavirus, it's been delayed a little bit. So we're not exactly sure when it's going to touch down, but it's already been sent and we're hoping they get them soon. Some schools in Zimbabwe focus on academic achievements and lack resources, leaving those who wish to pursue sport in limbo. Maka has become the bridge for those girls into accessing the necessary sporting equipment, which does not only benefit the girls, but the schools for many years to come. Since they don't play sports uh, there, they may not have the like necessary basic equipment that I may be able to find in like a Target for like ten dollars. So I figured, let's start with the necessities and then build up there so they can get their cleats, their um, shin guards as well as shorts. But they also need sports bras because it's a necessary piece of equipment for them. With the global pandemic coronavirus, a lot of families have been affected and financially they've had to set aside a budget for staying safe. One of the tools to this and has become a necessity is the face mask. It costs one US dollar for one washable mask and most families in Chimani Mani cannot afford it because of the current economic hardships. Maka has come through for them. Face masks have been very important here, and we decided that we should have them be sewn in Zimbabwe so that the girls can transition from not going to school at all because of the virus, so they can go back to school safely while keeping themselves safe as well as others safe, and we want to make sure they can do that as well as possible. Hunger was also looming in the community as many of the families had their breadwinners with them in the lockdown. Some lost their jobs whilst those that were depended on people from extended family living and working in the city could not get food sent down to them in Shimani Mani because there was no public transport available. Most of the people in the area were also not employed and the lockdown worsened the problem. Don't go far and is in the matter. If don't go far, I'm a 
Due to the coronavirus, they weren't getting uh, the their food as often as they needed to. So we teamed up with a lady, a very nice lady in Zimbabwe, and she was helping us distribute these food packs to the girls so they could still eat and be well nourished during this time, which is unpredictable. A humanitarian crisis in the name of Cyclone Idai struck Mozambique, Malawi and Zimbabwe, leaving more than 1,300 people dead and many more missing. Some of them were parents and carers to children in Chimani Mani. The children had to deal with the grief of losing their parents and the place they called home. They were dispersed from their families and friends. They lost everything and they had to start afresh. Makanaka Chikowero came through again for them. In 2019, Cyclone Dai hit uh, Zimbabwe around March, which left many boys and girls orphaned without parents. And I wanted to change that so they could still pursue an education even though their parents weren't there to support them. I wanted to be their support system even from so far away. Which has, been, which has really changed many of these girls' lives. Like a girl in my organization named um, Deliwe, she was out of school for a year because she had no one to support her. And I'm glad that I was able to step in and say, you can still go to school and be successful even without your parents here to guide you. I can still help you through this. Maka is mentored by the best in the world. Nyara Zai Gumbonjanda, who is also the African Union Goodwill Ambassador on Ending Child Marriages and Chief Executive Officer of Rosaria Trust Memorial, together with her daughter Farirai, have taken Maka under their wings. My name is uh, Dr. Nyara Zai Gumbonjanda. I'm the founder and chief executive for Rosaria Memorial Trust. Some people come into your life when you least expect of what the long-term um, meaning is going to be. I'm so passionate about giving voice and visibility to young girls and to young women uh, for us to just unleash their potential and to leverage the possibilities that exist in this world. So through social media, I came to know about the Chukoweros and their passion for their daughter and for their children, but especially their daughter whom they were cheering in soccer, they were cheering when she was swimming. And by that time, I, I felt I needed each year to do something symbolic, to lift a single girl. So I approached uh, Makanaka Chikowero's father, uh, Joseph Amurenga Chikowero on social media. And I said, I don't know you, we've never met, but I'm really inspired by how you're giving a lot of uh, support to your daughter. And she was just 10 years old. And I offered her a ticket uh, to New York uh, for the UN Commission on the Status of Women. I didn't know that my life was going to change and that her life was also going to change. And our relationship with the whole family was going to change as a result of that encounter. So here yeah, I was um, meeting this young girl, this 10 year old girl in New York. Um, and she came with her mother. It was the most extraordinary five days that I had um, in my life, just learning from a 10 year old girl. 
she's so passionate about soccer. She's grown over the years, and each year we did an, an annual encounter at the UN Commission on the Status of Women. Something amazing then happened. She started to mentor us as Rosaria Memorial Trust to get to love, to like girl soccer. And we launched our Rosaria Memorial Trust uh, in Ogro tournament as part of the 10 year anniversary for Rosaria Memorial Trust. She mobilized a sports kit with her friends, her colleagues, and they gave the sports kit to Rosaria Memorial Trust. And she was there, she was represented at our first uh, girl soccer tournament. The relationship continued to grow. We also continued to grow. We're now also participating in some of the community girl soccer initiatives. And we actually were invited by Gwen. And we went to uh, the Girls Empowerment, uh, Empowering Women and Girls program uh, in Seke, where we competed. And our Rosaria Memorial Trust Girls Soccer uh, team won the trophy. We were thrilled, we were excited and we continue to cherish this and we keep our trophy in our office is also part of saying this is part of the legacy makanaka continued to partner to support to enable to be part of our conversation she also continued to grow and last year they uh, gave us uh, after seeing that our girls were playing soccer on barefoot and it was expensive for us to look for uh, football boots so they bought these uh, tennis shoes for us to give to the girls and we had um, uh, so many pairs that uh, our girls were just so thrilled that they could play soccer uh, with tennis shoes makanaka has now launched mtc girls inc her own organization showing her philanthropy this is what I dreamt of. I dreamt of this girl, just like I dream of every girl, finding themselves, finding their space, finding their voice, and finding ways in which they can impact the world. I just want to say, Maka, continue to be who you are, to the Chikowero family. Continue to be the parents who you are. I wish in this world we had so many parents who support their daughters, who support their children to unleash their potential and to give the best that they can. I wish you the best. Hello, Maga. I am Lisa Muguta and I am the MTC Girls Juniors Captain of the Siren Girls Soccer. I want to thank you for everything. And uh, this coronavirus pandemic, yet uh, we are facing this coronavirus, it affects us more because I just combined I and as girls, we are not at the age of getting marriage. To far as as girls, it was no, it was horror. We are open, compare, go. It was horror. But some of the girls are not listening no more. But. I want to encourage girls who are in the team of 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 Wano, wano di encourage as girls guti. Wano di zasweza apana zohaska di zisi how to take care of our bodies and dress as girls. Wano di zisi zasweza wanda mama gobe. And I wanna thank you, maga, and your board members. I wanna thank you and I love you, maga. I miss you. Bye bye. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Bye. Hi, maga. I'm Tinoti Namawaya, one of the Serene Girls Team, aged 19 years old. I'm doing lower six at Nezua High School, doing sciences, bio, agriculture, and geo. I'm one of the volunteers who helped Mama Gobea for sewing face mask. Instead of, I helped Mama Gobea sewing face mask. Instead of walking around, I put all my time helping Mama Gobea sewing face mask. 
this helps me because it walking around it ends as putting early marriages so i want to encourage all the girls that early marriages does doesn't give us life but books give us life so my name is Shingrai Dosa. I'm one of the MTC girls' uh, patrons. I would have to say thank you to Maka for being the difference that this world needs. In this day and age, it's very hard to find young girls or young women uh, who are willing to help others. You have been sacrificing your birthday money, your lunch money to buy Santa prints for these um, girls. You have actually started now, you actually grew from Santa repairs all the way to buying two, um, uniforms and tuition, encouraging other people to join you in the endeavor. My, uh, my hope is that you know, your organization grows beyond you that other women and other young men who also join you, especially young men, because you want them to, to empower women and also support women in all that they do. So Maka, whatever you're doing right now, I want you to keep on doing it and I want you to keep on um, asking and seeking for help and keep on fighting for these girls. You are the voice for the, for the voiceless um, girls. The MTC girls that you are supporting right now, they are orphans. They are grateful for you for having, give, for having given them a second chance. In this world nowadays, it's very hard to come by somebody giving you a second chance. You've given them a hope and a future. You're giving them education that's going to stop them from um, trying to um, go for early marriage. You're also supporting them by looking for food given during this pandemic that you fed their families, only them, but also their families. That's something that many young people never think about besides themselves. I'm really encouraged by this and I'll keep on supporting you endeavor. And I pray and I hope that out there, there are other people who will be able to support you so that your organization grows beyond Zimbabwe. Maybe the rest of Africa, even here locally in the US of A. I think um, you, I mean, the sky is not even the limit for you. And I hope that you keep on fighting and being the voice for the voiceless. These girls need you and I'll keep on supporting you. MTC girls, you've got the right leader. Maka, we thank you. I just look at Maka as a role model. And I really always have since I like got to know her. Because she's done so much. And now that she has her own nonprofit, she's doing so much more. And I just... I don't know if you see that kind of person every day that just does so much for people and just keeps giving all the time. And I know it must take a lot of energy to like do all of that stuff. And she just gives so much of her time to help other people. She's just such a good person. And I, I really want to be like her. Uh, the kind of work that she is able to accomplish um, at this age, and I'm sure, um, that it, well, I'll let my children speak um, for themselves, how inspiring it is for her peers to see um, someone accomplish this level of work at her age. Um, because I, I, as a person who works, work with undergraduate students who do similar work, um, you know, at times I think that uh, folks are under the impression that it is um, impossible to start to address uh, some of the social challenges that exist, you know, nationally and locally. But thanks to leaders like Maka, at, even at this age, you learn um, that it is possible, and um, and that's an amazing thing to see. Um, when you're only in high school. So imagine what she's gonna accomplish when she's an undergrad and once she finishes undergrad. I'm really excited to see what her next steps are gonna be.
Above all, Maka could never have done it without a loving and supportive family. Her parents, Joseph and Lucy Chikowere, are always by her side, including her doting little brother. My parents have been a big influence in my life, and my little brother is also super supportive of the work that I'm doing. He'll come to the fundraising events or the places where I have little talks to do. It's amazing how supportive they are. Maka's star continues to shine, and her coaches speak about this brilliant young lady. Hi, my name is Tim Ozalik. I was Maka's soccer coach in seventh and eighth grade. Uh, when I first met Maka, she was really just like any other teenager. Uh, you know, she was quiet, she worked hard, she just loved to come out and, and play soccer and, and be a part of the team. And I started to realize that she was much more than just your average teenager. Um, you know, as I started to learn more about her and her projects, um, you know, I, I got a glimpse of some of the things that she was doing. And I slowly got involved, both through soccer and through through other areas and um, now I am a member of the board of MTC Educated Girl Inc which is her um, nonprofit organization so you know I think one of the incredible things about Mock is just how humble she is um, you know she's doing these incredible things and um, you know for her it's just what she has to do you know she she saw people that needed help um, and she stepped up and helped and it's nothing more than that. It's it's just what she has to do, and um, it's incredibly inspiring. Um, I think her ability to connect with people and tell a story um, is incredible. You know, and I think one thing we can all learn from her is that you can start somewhere, right? If you see see people that need help, um, no matter what you have, no matter where you are in life, um, you can help. You know, you start small and you build from there and you connect with people and you find people that are willing to help you um, and everything just kind of takes off. So I've been incredibly lucky to be part of this journey with Maka and, and learn from her. Um, and um, I hope to continue to see her journey over the years and be a part of MTC for as long as I can. So um, Maka, best of luck as always. I'm sure I will see you soon and we'll have many more projects but I'm so excited for you and for your future. Hi my name is Elena Gallegos and I've had the privilege of being Maka's swim coach for the past three years at the YMCA. Um, I knew when I first met Maka that she was special. Um, she's always so charismatic and happy and smiling and just her smile and laugh in a room can just brighten it all like that. Um, even when things don't really go her way she's always there to continue to motivate and push others to reach their goals um, while also pushing herself to reach her own goals. When I think of Maka, I think of her drive and just her resiliency. Um, when things maybe wouldn't go her way or had a bad race or a tough meet, um, she wouldn't let it get her down. She would just use that to continue to push herself um, to be better and better and continue to work um, to become the best swimmer she can be. Um, she never gives up and she's always just continuing to try and make herself better, um, which definitely pushes off on the other swimmers as I see them start to um, succeed as Maka just continues to push and encourage them. Um, when I found out about all her work and her organization, I was just blown away. One that I just had no idea that she was doing all this. I didn't learn until like year two. Um, She's just so humble and just is, does what she needs to do and also how she has time to manage all this. She's doing this awesome organization, helping all these people. She's doing multiple sports, um, school, a social life. Um, the fact that she can balance all this and do all this cool work is just amazing at such a young age. Um, I have loved watching her grow, not only as a swimmer, but also as a woman these last few years. Um, and I'm just so excited to see what her future holds. 
In 2016, Maka attended the UN Commission on the Status of Women and Girls in New York City. In 2020, for the International Youth Day, she joined 20 young activists from around the world for a video titled, We Are Generation Equality. The video was shared by UN Women. Hi, I'm Faith. And I'm Faith Finesse. My name is Attila Yoldash. This is Sohra Jala. My name is Katrina Leclerc. Namaste. Fisco platforms and schools have been shut down and global events have been cancelled. Our activism isn't put on hold. I fight for gender education to be mainstreamed in Sierra Leone. I fight for access to the productive health rights of women in rural areas of Nepal. To facilitate equality and inclusion, we should make opportunities available for all youth from all corners of the earth. We want to work, we want to build our future. Actually, I want to be human. I fight for equality because every woman and every girl deserves to live in a violence-free world. With the coronavirus, there's a rise in almost all countries of domestic violence. It's unacceptable that in 2020, young women and girls are fearing for their lives and for their safety. If you believe in gender equality. If you are a feminist, be the voices in your community. Step up and give voice to those whose voices have not been heard. When you break the silence and start fighting against injustice, you become stronger. How to get started? Just start. Start from your surrounding. Number one, sharing information. Number two, engaging online. Number three, showing up to online movements. I am Generation Equality because I believe in boys and men. I believe that boys and men want to be good and want to do good in society. I am Generation Equality because I believe in the power of youth to achieve a more sustainable and equitable future for us all. I'm Generation Equality. I am Generation Equality. I am Generation Equality. I'm Generation Equality. I'm Generation Equality. I'm Generation Equality. Because we are young, we are restless, our voices matter, and we are committed to taking action that will cause this change. We, we are Generation, Generation Equality. equality. There are ways you can help Maka so that she continues to help the underprivileged girls in Zimbabwe. On my website, if you just search up MTC Educated Girl, and we also have a donation page as well on our website and where you can meet the girls and see uh, the board members and what our current projects are. <laughs> Tawa nirwe nyasha Tawa nirwe nyasha